Uh, skull now, 604, take one. CBS presents this program in color. From Television City in Hollywood. The Red Skelton Hour. Brought to you by Anison, the headache tablet to relieve pain. So relax tension, calm nerves. Anison. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I feel good tonight. You know, California is beautiful at this time of the year, and everything out here uh, ages so fast in California. You know, I planted a tree last year, and it's dead already. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the weather's nice. I get up every morning with the sun. I've slept for the last three days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm coming up the hall a few minutes ago, and a little lady walked up to me, and she says, you Red Skelton? And I said, yes. She says, you must be about 60 years old. <laughs> I said, why do you say that? She says, my son's 30 and he's only half nut. <laughs> <laughs> I was stopped out on the side of the studio this afternoon by one of those sidewalk interviewers, and he came up and he says, pardon me. He says, I'm from the Bureau of Economics uh, Study. He says, uh, uh, well, are you concerned with the inflation? I says, only when I eat Mexican food. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, the way the prices are nowadays, you go to a supermarket now, and now the only thing you can buy for... for <laughs> <laughs> you go to a supermarket nowadays, and you know, the only way you can buy a two-pound steak is with three pounds of money. <laughs> <laughs> Things are so high now, when you see a guy with a gravy stain, you don't know whether he's sloppy or bragging. <laughs> You can buy, I remember when you used to buy a hamburger for a dime, you know. Well, you can still get a hamburger for a dime. I won't tell you how much meat's in it, but you can eat it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a butcher on the street the other day, and I said, I saw your prices, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. He said, I saw your show. You should be too. <laughs> <laughs> and even eggs have gone up, which makes it rather rough on the hen. <laughs> walk around all day long saying cluck, 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 and from the price we're playing, I think we're the cluck. <laughs> hey, two, two chickens were talking. One hen said to the other, how much do you get for your eggs? He says, 80 cents a dozen. What do you get? He said, 70. She says, why don't you lay bigger eggs and get more money? She says, I should exert myself for a dime. <laughs> <laughs> and the prices of haircuts gone up again. You know, it, it's cheaper nowadays to buy a, a, a guitar. You know? <laughs> I'm going in tomorrow and get an estimate. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the prices haven't stopped the women from shopping, though. My wife, for instance, I, she, anytime she goes in the store, it's charge, charge, charge. I said, why don't you retreat a little? <laughs> One of my neighbors came walking into me the other day, and he says, Say, did you know that the, the, it's going up again? I, I, I said, the stock market? He says, no, the mini skirts. <laughs> you know, the girls with those mini skirts, they're nice to travel with, you know. They zip up their lips, and they're ready to go. <laughs> Have you seen those mini skirts? They say it keeps the, the blood in circulation. It's keeping me in circulation. <laughs> my wife says they bring out her eyes. Mine, too. <laughs> And you know the material that they make out of those mini skirts? They're using the youngsters are using everything they can. I saw one girl had a, a dress that was made out of sailcloth, <laughs> and it bellied with the breeze. You know? <laughs> and then another girl had one that was made out of awning. It was nice, but every time the sun goes down, the skirt rolls up. <laughs> and the, the, the new, uh, the new, this is not new. These uh, mini skirts, mini skirts are not new. Setting Bull's wife wore a mini skirt. You know? <laughs> That's why they call her Standing Bear. <laughs> You're supposed to, you know, the latest fad now is to wear a dress, whatever you, town you're from, you wear a dress, no matter, like if you're from Brownsville, you wear a brown dress. If you're from uh, Greensboro, you wear a green dress. <laughs> I know a girl from Big Bear, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you know, short dresses are all right if the girl's knees are pretty. I saw a girl this afternoon, she looked like she was smuggling bowling balls. <laughs> Some of the, the, the stockings are wrinkled. I saw a couple of secretaries coming down the hall this afternoon, <laughs> and their stockings were so wrinkled, they looked like they were running a sack race. <laughs> and I, I, one guy says to his wife, he says, I'm going to get you something now that you've got the mini skirts that's going to make your legs look better. He, she says, what's that? He says, hip boots. <laughs> These dresses remind me of Cash's play, you know. <laughs> Two hooks and you're undone. <laughs> and the mini skirts, you know. You know how they make those things? You know how they make the mini skirts? Well, they take a piece of thread. And that's it. <laughs> but they're really detracting. CBS put a big sign in the entrance that says, Men, step up the stairs. Don't stare up the steps. <laughs> My wife put on one of those mini skirts, and she says, how do I look? I says, you need something in back of you. She says, what? I says, a drum and bugle for it. <laughs> you know, talking about the mini skirts, though, I would like to do now a little pantomime showing you the new short dresses and what girls have to go through now that they're wearing these things. A girl with a mini dress. One, two, tie your shoe. Simple. Any six-year-old can do it. Except when arthritis flares up with frustrating pain, stiffness. There is help for arthritics. Help when you reach for Anison. The Anison formula relieves minor pain and so eases arthritis stiffness for hours. Because Anison has the pain reliever doctors prescribe most for arthritis. What a difference Anison can make to the arthritis sufferer when even a simple movement can cause pain. At times like this, Anison brings more freedom of movement without pain. More freedom of movement without pain. Minutes after taking Anison, 
feel pain and stiffness flow from affected joints. The joy of doing simple things returns. Reach for help. Reach for Anison. More freedom of movement without pain. There's some no doubt we'll call off Nailing Spade. It's brought about a fascinating change. She nearly got a mini down on Carnaby Street. Her life is as sweet as can be. She shopped around in London with a passion. Until she found the very latest fashion. She used to go out looking for some fellas to meet. To buy her a nice cup of tea. Too long. It's good we didn't dig her in that granny she wore. But now they've seen me take her and they knock on my door. The kitty got a mini down on Carnaby Street. Her life is as sweet as can be. from our alternate sponsor, Bose. Good-looking watch. Everything's clean. Well, thanks. And white, too. Aren't you nice? But that's just second-rate, isn't it? What are you talking about? What could be better than clean and white? Bright. Bold bright. Get it with Procter & Gamble's new Bold, a detergent so powerful it gets clothes bright. Not just clean. And white? Bold goes beyond clean, beyond white, all the way to bright. You get not only whiter white, but greener green, plaidier plaid, even blacker black. Fantastic? So's this totally new power formula. Who ever saw a detergent loaded with power granules? White, green, blue. Whoever saw a wash so bright? And that's better than clean, better than white. Get clothes bright. Get bold. Tonight, Red Skelton as George Appleby and Godfrey Cambridge in Much Ado About Nagging. <laughs> I 
get the job on the floor show? You're too good for the show. <laughs> you can be a waitress. Oh, I knew I'd get ahead. <laughs> okay, honey, will you sit in the next act? Laura and Sally Bumpsy. Uh, we come to apply for a job. Go ahead. You better take me and my sister. We've got talent plus. <laughs> we make perfect squirrels, mister. And then, then go nuts for us. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can be waitresses, too. <laughs> Hey, will you send in the next one, G.G. Appleby? <laughs> if we don't get him with the gin, we'll get him coming through the run. <laughs> Say, must be the rush hour. The traffic is bumper to bumper. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, All right, right. G.G. Appleby. Yes? Okay, G.G., let me see your legs. What? Hey, great legs. Really? Come here. You know, our employees got to wear low-cut gowns. Let's see the shoulders. Shoulders. <laughs> Good heavens! What's coming off here? No more clothes, buddy! <laughs> but as far as I go, What's going on? Are you some kind of kook? You want to see my legs and take my clothes off, and you call me some kind of a kook? <laughs> I throw this in the paper here, your ad, you, 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 for squirrels. Oh, now I get it. You want to be a squirrel? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Tell me something. You think you can get in that costume? Why, there's hardly room in there for her. <laughs> You know, it's hard to believe that she and my wife are the same sex. <laughs> okay, buddy, okay, you got the job as a waiter. A waiter! Now, listen, I want you to sweep the floor. I gotta go check the acts for tonight's show. I'll sweep the floor like it's never been swept before. Say what a sexy place this is. Even the chairs are stacked. <laughs> What you need is a breath control pill. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. <laughs> sir, why, he's drunker than I thought. I'm sorry. Come over here. What is it, Sonny? <laughs> zip for me, please. Zip you? Why, I'm so bashful. I even blush when I zip my uh, briefcase. <laughs> Here, I'll get it right here. Just a minute there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, thank my, you. I got my tie. I'm stuck on you. I'm stuck on you. I'm stuck on you. Well, a lot of guys are. <laughs> I remember him stepping wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my tie. It's half killing me. Joanna Jappleby. Good heavens, it's my wife. She'll kill the other half. <laughs> hide me, hide me, hide me. Now I know how Mickey Rooney feels. <laughs> I'm looking for George Appleby. Uh, who are you? I'm his wife. Uh, well, uh, he went uh, that way. Now well, make up your mind. Uh, well, uh, um, let me think now. Um, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, well, uh, he, he was here, and then he went there. Well, to tell the truth, I'm trying to think up a lie. You better make it a very good one. All right, how about I'm teaching her to ride a motorcycle? Without a motorcycle? Well, this way we save on gas. Oh, well, baby, huh? George, take off your hat. Yes, all right. Oh. I'm going to make you sorry you were born. Well, yeah, and I'm not so happy about you right now. 
I better go to the dressing room and get you off my back. Yes, you better do that. Here, here. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like a live bumper sticker. <laughs> all right, all right. Send in that next comic. We're auditioning. Laugh a minute, Louie. <laughs> My mother called me Louie because I was the 14th. <laughs> Do you know how to make a Venetian blind? Poke your finger in his eye. <laughs> My wife went to the West Indies. Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. <laughs> Speaking of whiskey, it may shorten your life, but you get to see twice as much in half the time. <laughs> you better laugh in a hurry on one egg. <laughs> My girl has the most beautiful legs in the world. How do I know? I counted them. <laughs> Speaking of stepping stones. Laugh a minute, Louie. Go away. <laughs> oh, you remember me. I cut your act down on the unemployment line over in Culver City. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm doing better now. I'm playing the unemployment line at Beverly Hills. <laughs> Tell him the one about Baltimore. Tell him that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. I like Philadelphia. Chicago, I adore. I also like New York. But I'm nuts about Baltimore. I don't know what I do without you, but I sure like to try. <laughs> hey, how do you like that, huh? Get your hand off of me, or I'll knock you flatter than his last joke. Oh, he's violent. Yeah. <laughs> and as for you, your jokes are stale. The big comics are there talking about marriage, about how couples insult each other. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you haven't got it. Oh, so I barely know society will hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you want to study up on the miseries of marriage, you ought to come over to my house. Oh, you got one of those wives with wall-to-wall -wall nasty, huh? <laughs> I've got the meanest wife in the world. She gave me an electric blanket and made me sleep in wet pajamas. Shut <laughs> And that's not all. She then screwed a light bulb in my navel and sat there and read. <laughs> well, you gotta use them for something. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a wife like that, you know, you got a deal. What's that? I'll come over to your house and I'll pay you a dollar for every insult that I can use in my act. A dollar an insult? Why, I'll be rich enough to afford the kind of marriage that makes life a success. What? Ah, divorce. <laughs> no matter how you hurry, by the time you get Pizzeria Pizza home, it's usually... Cold again. Next time, try Chef Boyardee frozen pizza. Ready in just eight minutes. Bubbling hot with tender, crunchy crust and rich Italian sauce, topped with three cheeses. Tastes better than any pizza you bring home because it's hotter and fresher. Chef Boyardee. This man has a bad cold. Nasal congestion here. Congestion deep in sinuses here. This scientific breathing bag shows breathing almost blocked. Now, Dristan Nasal Mist for deep sinus congestion relief. Dristan clears nasal passages, of course, but more, Dristan breaks through to help drain congestion deep in sinuses. In seconds, breathing is free. Try Dristan for deep sinus congestion relief. hanging around one of those squirrels again, they're going to have to bury him. Yoo-hoo, clam bake home. Oh, honey, we're out in the back. Bring in the paper from the front lawn. I got it, sweetheart. Good boy. <laughs> John, if there's one more growl out of you like that, I'll leave this house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's cut that out. Now, if it 
wasn't for Mother, I wouldn't be living today. But I would. <laughs> I said, it's dry wood. I gotta get some dry wood for the barbecue over here. Let's get those steaks going. Well, to heavens, I haven't seen so much meat since Jackie Gleason put on a bikini. <laughs> you know, that was one of the biggest hangovers he ever had. George, one of those steaks is for me, and the other one is for Mother. Wait a minute, what am I gonna eat? There's only two. Well, after you're finished, you uh, can lick the grill. Oh, goody. I love barbecued tongue. <laughs> George, now don't forget how I like my steak. Pink on the inside, red in the center, brown on the outside, and black on the ribs. Look, I'm a cook, not Michelangelo. <laughs> I want my steak blood rare. I'm not touching the fire. And as raw as possible. Okay, you old bitty. You. <laughs> I shouldn't say that about her. She's a lovely lady. Why, she's very kind. Her first husband died in her arms. Poor sucker probably froze to death. <laughs> well, here you are, Mother. Snap at that one. George, <laughs> I want my steak rare. <laughs> was any rare, you can give it a transfusion. Here, here, here. Get the door. What? Get the door. Why, are you going to eat that, too? <laughs> What do you mean I'm asking for? Hey! Claire, this is a kindness to our animal. Don't you think we should give the same courtesy to George? Oh, maybe you're right, Mother. All right, for the rest of the day, I promise I won't say one nasty word to him. Maybe we should get him a glass of lemonade. Oh, that's a good idea. Come on. Laugh a minute. Did I come in time? Is Clara mad at you? Clara mad? She's madder than a nearsighted porcupine married to a pincushion. <laughs> Remember, for every one of your wife's insults I can use in my act, you get a dollar. Yeah, well, look, don't you worry. One of Clara's tantrums, and you'll have more jokes than Milton Berle can steal in a lifetime. <laughs> the way you describe her, you make Virginia Woolf sound like Mary Poppins. You mean Mary pop off, boy. <laughs> hey, maybe you better keep out of sight because if uh, Clara suspects anything, she's going to hit me over the head with her mother. Well, what do I do? Make myself invisible? I mean, I'm hardly Tinkerbell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Only when I'm with you, dear. <laughs> Hide behind the tree. Hide behind the tree and prepare for the first insult. Oh, goody. Behind this tree, she'll never be able to see me here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm on my mark. Come on. <laughs> Bat lady, huh? Okay. What were you saying, George? Uh, well, no wonder you can't hear anything yapping with your mouth so big it looks like the Grand Canyon with dentures. Uh, do I do talk a lot? Um, you've been very patient to put up with me, dear. Huh? That's an insult. George Hamilton got treated worse at his draft board. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, dear. Huh? George. Oh, now that's a new low in being sloppy, wiping your mustache on my forehead. <laughs> George, that was a kiss. Remember when the Justice of the Peace married us? Remember what you did when you lifted my veil? Yeah, I took a pill to settle my stomach. But... <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to do anything with the picture? Come on, let yes, me Yes, I certainly am, George. I'm going to give you a glass of lemonade. Lemonade? Mm -hmm. So sweet to you? Is that your wife or your girlfriend? Well, I can't understand it. Clara hasn't been this nice to me since she mistook me for the milkman. Well, if I get out of show business, there's one consolation with my figure. It'll take me 50 years to starve to death. <laughs> Look, give me one more chance, will you? One more chance. Okay, well, bring up the big artillery. The big artillery's coming up. This is, I was saving for the divorce. All right, make this one Reno. Th that was mine. <laughs> The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <laughs> well, that's smart. Make it a pilot while you're on here. <laughs> hey, Clara, come here. Come here. Now hear this. You know that you've got a figure like a 19-year-old horse. <laughs> well, none of us is perfect, dear. Yeah. Well, then try this one on for size. Your teeth have so many cavities, you talk with an echo. First thing tomorrow, dear, I'll go and see the dentist. Mm -hmm. Look at those sweet, sweet fat boys. 
<laughs> Maybe her water on the knee backed up into her brain. <laughs> that does it. Uh. That does it. What? You with that bird brain of yours, you can grow your own feathers, and you can lay your own eggs in your head. Get <laughs> ready. Here she yeah. comes. She's getting hot. Write them down. Who's he? Oh, he's the tree surgeon. Write them down. Oh, right yes, down. yes. You, you got a sick tree here. It's, a sick tree. It's a got tree. rabies of the dogwood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a draft in a knot hole. It's yeah, got to go yeah. to the hospital. No. A hole. hospital? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I never heard of a hospital for trees. You mean you've never heard of Cedars of Lebanon? <laughs> Tristan Nasal Mist, the decongestant nasal spray that gives you deep relief from sinus congestion and head colds distress. Tristan Nasal Mist has brought you this portion of the Red Skelton Hour. This portion of the Red Skelton Hour is being brought to you by Reynolds Aluminum, producer of strong, lightweight, rust-free aluminum for packaging, home, and industry. Reynolds, where new ideas take shape in aluminum. as little as possible, sir. <laughs> God damn it! What did what? Hey, George. Yeah. Hey, gee, I gotta thank you. You and Clara, look at the business you're doing here. You know, you and Clara did it all. You and Clara have given me the biggest marriage act since Governor Wallace put Alabama in his wife's name. <laughs> George Appleby! Good heavens, my wife. Holy skull fracture. <laughs> oh, how quick they forget, huh? <laughs> yeah. Clara, what are you doing here? Well, I came here because you never take me out, and I want to see the floor show here at the nightclub. Well, it's nothing, really. They, the girls just wiggle. You remember the way you did when I put the ant village in your slacks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, look. Now, open our show introducing the great me. George, isn't that that tree surgeon? Oh, uh, yeah, but he had to give up his practice. He got hurt uh, breaking up a, a fight between a, a, a dogwood and a pussy willow. <laughs> Speaking of wives... <laughs> Speaking of wives, my wife, Clara, is very bright. She graduated from college. Summer come loud, mouth. <laughs> George, what was that? What was what? This? My wife is a magician. She can turn anything into an argument. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some men are henpecked. I'm buzzer's batter. <laughs> George, my ears are ringing. Well, answer it. <laughs> Speaking of my wife, Clara. Clara? Ten years ago, I asked for her hand in marriage, and her hand has been in my pocket ever since. <laughs> George, you said that to me last night. I smell something fishy. Well, look at your shoes. Maybe you've stepped in some caviar. <laughs> you took all the bitterness out of our marriage, and you gave it to a stranger. George, you don't deserve a wife like me. I don't deserve broken ribs, but I think I just got them. <laughs> I don't deserve an insult either, and I got one of them, too. I should have married that ex 
brave Captain Ed. Well, he's the only one that ever saw anything in you. <laughs> when you courted me, you used to throw yourself at my feet. Now you're covering a lot of territory. <laughs> I want you to meet my new client. Client? I'm your new manager. <laughs> well, introducing the new comedy team of the Fighting Applebee's. <laughs> Clara, these people were laughing at us. And you know the way the television season's going? We may be able to get our own show, you know. We can call it Hate Your Mate. A thing like that would catch on. It would not catch on. Oh, it certainly will. There you are. It sure will. It sure will. <laughs> Draw two, George. Hey, I have one of those Reynolds aluminum tappers home. First time I've seen one in a restaurant. Greatest thing that ever happened to our business. Always had a lot of calls for draft beer. Now we've got it. And without any complicated installation. Helps our dinner tray, Three more, too. George. <laughs> See, they just love that draft beer. That little refrigerator you've got Tapper in? Yeah, special kind of cooler. Keeps Tapper cold right here on the bar. All you gotta do is plug it in. Gee, it'd be perfect for the club or my den. Got one myself. Didn't cost much. Birthday party's ready, George. See that? Big party wants draft. We take Tapper right to him. Can't beat Tapper. Right, George. For a booklet on Tapper coolers and other accessories, write Tapper, Reynolds Aluminum, Richmond, Virginia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like for you to meet our guest star, author, actor, and comedian, Mr. Godfrey Cambridge. What on earth have you been doing that mirror all day? The doctor told me to watch my weight. <laughs> You're going to need a three-way mirror. <laughs> see, I'd like to see somebody get that in the driver's seat. Boy, that's smart. <laughs> that's the wrong line. I'd like to get that in the driver's seat. And you say, well, that hurt. That hurt! <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's one of those evenings. I know. Well, you look good, though. You look good. Pleasingly plump. Pleasingly plump. Cary right. Grant of the fat set. <laughs> <laughs> your friends say that about you, huh? Sure. Who are your friends? Elephants? I don't <laughs> <laughs> know, but we break a lot of cheer. <laughs> say, let me ask you, uh, have you ever considered going on a diet? Sure. Huh? After every meal. <laughs> I've tried everything, Red. I even tried the drinking man's diet. Yeah, what'd you lose? Two jobs and my driver's license. <laughs> Are you really serious about losing weight? I'd do anything to be just... Then, by gum, I've got the latest thing for you. A reducing machine. Great! Willie, bring out the machine. Willie, bring out... Here it is. Here it is. You get right in this thing, boy, and you'll be so thin I when you stand sideways, they'll mark your ass. That looks like a steam cabinet to me. Well, as a matter of fact, it's exactly what it is. Here, get in there. Not only will you lose weight, but you can get your pants pressed at the well, same time. I don't know about that, Red. Yeah, you're going to lose weight now. You're going to do it right here on the show tonight. This oh. is going to be a television first. Oh, oh. Nice. that's wonderful. <laughs> I don't have it on yet. <laughs> but it's a tight fit. <laughs> I feel like a blueberry in a bottle of milk. <laughs> Okay, now, here we go. <laughs> You're gonna lose five pounds every second. Hey, Red, you sure this thing works? Yeah, it works, boy. If it don't, you get double your blubber back. <laughs> I, I think it's well done. I'm brown enough. <laughs> okay, here, let's see how you are. There. <laughs> might have overdone it a little. But let's put it this way. This Halloween, you don't have to worry about a costume. <laughs> okay, Willie, Willie Moore. And keep me away from those dogs. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, our musical guests for this evening, Jackie and Gail. Play lover, but don't like to get stung. I like my two feet on the 
let's make the scene. Do your routine and we'll see what we can learn. We're in a dancing mood, a real Tom Hansen mood, whenever we're with you. The music seems brighter, our troubles are lighter too. When we're with you, Emily eats constantly. I know what you mean. So when I wrap leftovers, I need a foil that'll really keep things fresh. Mm, some job with Jimmy around. You know what I mean. It has to be strong enough to wrap and rewrap. Oh, I've tried all the off-brand. I need Reynolds Wrap. There's a difference. Sure is. Reynolds Wrap has flexible strength. Reynolds Wrap is oven-tempered for flexible strength. Yes, oven tempering gives Reynolds Wrap the perfect combination of strength and flexibility. Flexible strength to resist cracks and tears, to mold easily, hold tightly. It lets you wrap, unwrap, and rewrap time after time, meal after meal. Don't let good food go to waste. Give it the best protection you can get. Reynolds Wrap is oven tempered for flexible strength. You're right, I need Reynolds Wrap, but you need a padlock on that refrigerator. Now, The Silent Spot, starring Red Skelton. Come along with Red as he spends a typical day at the beach.
Don't go away, Red will be back in a minute. Next week, Red's guests will be Audrey Meadows, Shirley Bassey, and Junior, the Mean Whittle Kid. And now a word from our alternate sponsor of this portion of the Red Skelton Hour. Here he is again, Red Skelton. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our sponsors and staff, we sincerely hope that our entertainment and our products have brought happiness into your homes. We'll say goodbye for now. So until we meet next week, I hope we say good night and may God bless. Good night. Thank you. Reynolds Aluminum, creators of Reynolds Wrap, oven-tempered for flexible strength. Reynolds, where new ideas take shape in aluminum, has brought you this portion of the Red Skelton Hour. This is Art Gilmore speaking.